For years, my wife has asked me and pleaded with me to run a Spartan with her, to engage in a level of activity that I could not comprehend because I was so heavy, so burdened with excess weight. Now that I've trimmed down 30 plus pounds, I've accepted her challenge. And not only that, we have been exercising every day except for Sundays for the past three or four weeks. And it's invigorating and my body is transforming. I'm actually, I haven't been trimming down so much, putting a little bit of weight on, putting some muscle in and replacing it and joyful, it is exhilarating. And I never thought this was even possible a year ago. I, I couldn't have comprehended it. I wanted it and I sought for it, but I tell I fully gave over my physique and my body to the Lord, I couldn't have done it on my own. I wasn't strong enough because I had so much excess weight. Carrying that extra 40 plus pounds on a daily basis is taxing and heavy. For example, I had a, a chiropractor explain to me that for every 10 extra pounds of weight that you have, you have a bunch more veins running through your body to carry that extra weight. As you trim down, those veins trim down. And he told me how many miles it was for every 10 pounds, but I don't remember all the details. But the point is, is that when you're carrying that excess weight, it's heavy on the body. And not just heavy on the body, but it's heavy on your soul. And as you turn your life over to the Lord, He removes those burdens. Not just the burden of excess weight, but the burden of excess doubtful, insecure, untrusting thoughts and it enables you and fills you with light so that you can release those shadows and those doubts and those insecurities and be full of joy and have the fruits of his spirit despite challenges and you can draw closer to him and you can do this. You have to simply get on your knees Turn your life over to him and allow him to teach you how to run your ship, how to be the master of your ship, how to control your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. And it starts with your heart. You've got to turn your heart to him and he will help you clear up your mind and align it with his teachings so that you can have these fruits, so that you can run and not be weary and remove the excess weight, excess baggage. But again, it starts with you and you have the choice. You simply turn your life over to him and fill your mind with high octane fuel, such as the best books and the scriptures and the words of prophets, prophet leaders, those that have worked firsthand experience with God and share that knowledge with us so that you and I can grow and have that firsthand experience too. You can have a firsthand experience with God and it starts with prayer. And when you utilize your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, he gives you power to pierce the heavens, if you will, and to commune with God, your maker, one on one. And it is exhilarating. It is comforting. It is revelatory and we revere God and we honor him by coming dropping to our knees and turning to him with our hearts and our minds sharing our burdens with him so that he can comfort us and give us the strength and the power and the wisdom to move forward despite the challenges we may be facing so that we can turn our weakness to a strength